and I'm having serious technical difficulties today. So uh, this is my third restart on this live video. So I want to show you how to do the glitter flow pins. Just a little something simple, super easy gift that people think you spent a lot of money on. These usually range anywhere from a dollar to two dollars, depending on who you get them from. I get some of mine from FriendsGlitterAndMore.com. I get some of them from Legendary Glitter. I know that there are several people that carry them. Uh, I've got a couple that have a little gemstone on them. Kind of cute. Some people like that. Some people don't. I don't really have a preference one way or the other. So I'm going to use this particular glitter. It's less messy than my typical trunk chunky mixes. Hi, Sherry. Welcome to my channel. Hope you like bloopers. Um, so my typical chunky mix has a lot of fine in it, and that's pretty messy. That's not what we want today. <clears throat> so anyways, I picked two different pen colors, kind of my least favorites, but um, I think they'll both look really good with this particular glitter. I got a couple of oddball colors on my last pen order. So because the flow is a little bit different on some uh, medium, whatever you want to call it, uh, you can do contact lens solution, you can do baby oil. I've seen people use clear dish soap, some people use water, some people use mineral oil, and there's one more that I cannot think of right this minute. If it comes to my head, I'll shout it out later. So, this one was baby oil, so it's a nice, really slow flow. Very satisfying if I'm stuck on hold for some time. So, since this has a nice little tip on it, I'm not going to make a little reservoir. But I am on this one because it has this um, tiny little hole here. So I'm just going to put a little bit. It doesn't really take a lot. I can fill this thing up to the 30 and probably easily do 10 pins or more. I've never really counted. So these pins come apart and it has the little stopper in it. You want to set that aside. I'm going to put that ring aside as well. Just so I don't knock it off. And do the same thing here. Make sure you have a stopper before you get going. I think I've only ever had one. And it's possible that it was opened up ahead of time when I wasn't really thinking or someone else was looking at it. So who knows. So I've got a little reservoir here. Got this little dropper here that came in some other resin stuff. Some of my silicone molds. And then I have this tiny little spoon. It's the cutest thing. I use it for a lot of stuff. So let's start with the contact lens solution. This is going to give you a little faster flow. The way I prefer to do it is put a little bit in there because I don't want my glitter to get like clumped up at the bottom. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry, Shonda. I had serious technical difficulties, um, but I'm glad you found it again because this is really fun. I made one of these for everyone at work and oh my goodness, they forced me to buy more so they could pay for them. So I'm just going to do this. I'm only going to use probably half of that, but I like to, I have big hands, so this works well for me. You do what works for you, but I'm just going to kind of scoop it down in there. Kind of eyeball it. You don't want it so full that it can't flow. That's a fair amount. It's from like here to here. I'll do just a teeny bit more. I'm really sorry if I'm heavy breathing into the camera. I have like zero nostrils open to breathe right now. The allergies, uh, allergen count has been through the roof here lately. So I'm going to stop right there. And we're going to top it off. But we don't want to fill it up all the way. Because we need a little room for our stopper. Shake it up, kind of get that air bubble out of there. That just it leads a little bit more. Okay. So I've got my little stopper here. Focus. I'm going to put the rounded end in. It probably doesn't matter. Just how I do it. 
I found that if I can do it pretty consistently, I can knock them out faster. So that went in not so great because there's a really big air bubble here. So let me grab my, this is actually a weeding tool. I like to kind of poke it down in that side like that to allow that air bubble out of there. Just like that, easy peasy. And you can kind of see how fast that's flowing. It's kind of stuck together, but that's okay. So that flows really fast with the contact lens solution. I don't know what's up with that little blob right there. Yeah, anyways, you get the point of that one. So um, you may have noticed this little obviously handmade by a third grader jar here. When I'm doing a lot of these, I like to stand them up like this because then I can glitter, 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 and then go through with my little dropper here and do that and then kind of work one step at a time. I feel like sometimes the little assembly line method can sometimes knock them out a little easier. So now I'm going to do the same thing with my baby oil. So I'm just going to do that and kind of fill it up a little bit. Not a ton ton. Doesn't really need it. drop some down in there. So my, like I said earlier, my hands are big. My right hand is also crooked. So I do things a little bit weird um, compared to other people. So if you see me do something and you're like, what the heck is happening right now? <laughs> it's because of that. All right, so I've got a fair amount in there now. You can't really see it because with the oil, it sticks to the sides a little bit more, obviously. So when I do it this way, I like to go ahead and let it like roll down the sides so that it pushes that glitter down that's stuck right there at the opening. I'm about right there so far. So about right there. Pretty full, but not all the way full. I'm gonna see if I can't get my air bubble out. Make sure nothing's clumped together and not gonna flow. All right, just a couple more drops to do it. It's almost full, but not quite. I need it to about right there. So maybe literally two drops. And eh, three. Three. It's not really the end of the world if there's a tiny, tiny little piece of glitter there. If there was a big chunk, maybe I'd be a little bit more concerned because I don't know how that would affect the overall seal. And that's it. So one thing I have kind of had in the back of my mind one of my coworkers loves a big bubble so that she can make the glitter kind of swirl around, I guess. I don't really know. So the more you do these, the more you can kind of figure out what works for you. But you can see how slow that is. Like a lava lamp, kind of. Compared to super fast. This is the kind that my coworker would absolutely go bonkers over. I'm gonna have to take that out. That weird clump is gonna bother me and I really don't wanna um, gift this to anyone like that. So if you have to take it out, just kind of pop your thing in there like that. I'm not trying to like puncture it or anything, but it's not really gonna hurt anything if you poke a hole in the side. I don't know what is going on right there. I guess they just static together in the jar and never wanted to let go. Oh man, cue the bad Titanic reference swimming through my mind right now. So 
So if you decide to do contact lens solution, it really doesn't matter what brand. Honestly, if you are kind of buddy-buddy with your optometrist office, they could probably give you a box or two for free. This right here will last a long time. This is only two ounces, but it's gonna last a really long time. I happen to work at an eye doctor, so I already have a hookup. If you wear contact lenses, I would not uh, use your own bottle, just because if the tip of your bottle comes into contact with anything else, there's just too many bacteria out there that could really wreak havoc on your eyeballs. Yeah, okay, so let me wipe my hands off again. That was wet. Yep, so that kinda took care of that weird blob. It's okay if you have an air bubble in there. I think that's what that is. I think those are stuck around a tiny air bubble. That's exactly what it was. That's kind of cool. Anyways, so contact lens solution flow and baby oil flow. Nice and slow. I like this one personally just because I... Um, I kind of like to stare at it when I'm on hold with like insurance companies or whatever. But uh, that's all I'm going to do for this video. But there's just so much color variation out there. These are kind of my leftovers. We have tons of colors. In fact, I have, maybe I'll just do this while I'm out here. Um, these are for some coworkers. She made a special order. And I totally keep forgetting to do it. So if you feel like hanging around and watching me do a couple more, go for it. But if you don't, that's all I'm going to do. There probably won't be any new information. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, new information. When you're done, I have no idea where my E6000 glue is right now. But when you're done, just put your little ring back on. And then it goes back together just like that. But before you do that, because these aren't a super tight fit, put a little bit of, like put a dab of glue like right here or super glue or whatever. And I like to like twist it on like that just so it gets around the barrel. And that's it. And then let it dry, let the glue dry and it's ready to gift. Okay, I lied, one more tidbit. You can get replacement inks for these things. This particular one writes black. Yeah, perfect. You can get blue refills, but I don't think I've seen red or any other colors. So this is easier to do when you have a bigger thing to hold on to. So that's how that comes apart. Just unscrew that. And there you go. Kind of mind blowing. It's so easy and you can get replacements. I think it's maybe six bucks or something for 10 of them, 12 of them. And just goes in that easy and it doesn't matter that you have your pen glued together because that's coming from the other end not the glued end like that if i can find it i will post the link to those inks ink refills i know i saw a pack that had maybe a dozen blue and a dozen black and it was 15 bucks or something i may be exaggerating how inexpensive that is but i feel like it was about 50 cents a piece so that really is all the info I have for you. So I'm gonna grab these three colors really quickly. Um, two colors. Autumn Harvest is, no, she didn't pick one for the gray. Hmm, I'm gonna have to be, uh, make an executive decision. So I'm gonna grab these two glitters, Oktoberfest and Autumn Harvest. Oktoberfest is beautiful and I think it's uh, underrepresented. <laughs> That's really lame to say about glitter, but I'm okay with that. So I'm going to grab these two colors and then maybe see if I can find another one. So I'll be right back. But again, if you don't feel like hanging out, there won't be any new information in the next few minutes. I'm literally just going to be doing these three because she's been waiting months. I keep forgetting to do them. And I sit like 20 feet from her every day. Okay, I'm going to let y'all see my pretties while I do this. 
So I have another video that shows uh, how I have my glitter samples. I don't have the actual boxes organized yet. Okay, it's not in this box. I'm going to put them in here numerically. This glitter has more, or this bucket has more chunkies. So this is Oktoberfest. I hope nobody made any comments in the last minute because I wasn't near my phone. This is Oktoberfest. It's like pink and gold and copper and blue and maybe black. I can't quite put my finger on it if it's black or dark, dark blue. And then the other one is Autumn Harvest and it has really pretty, nope, oh, that's Hocus Pocus. Yeah, Autumn Harvest is really pretty. It has uh, tiny little leaves in it. It's mostly fall colors. It's all fall colors with some silver in there. And then I think for my executive decision for the other one, hmm. I'm gonna go back to that other box and grab my 308 chunky. be able to see what I mean by the chunky being kind of messier. So this is so pretty. It's gunmetal colored, but it's a holographic gunmetal. Really pretty. I think I'm going to surprise her and do these with the contact lens solution rather than the baby oil. Good grief. Sorry about that. So this is what I was talking about earlier about kind of Throwing them in there. Making sure my stoppers are in everything. Yep, okay, perfect. So I'm gonna throw just a little bit of contact lens solution in here. If you're just tuning in, um, I've already done the main tutorial, but I'll go ahead and walk through it on this. So I'm using contact lens solution on these three pins. These are actually pins for an order. I keep forgetting uh, that my coworker gave me her order kind of later. I'm just using contact lens solution. I filled it up. I shouldn't have even bothered shutting that. I filled it up a little over a third of the way full. Fuller than I did the first time around, but that's okay. So I'm going to wipe off the glitter from the other one. We'll go ahead and do the 308 chunky real quick. Alright, so I'm going to do this again. I let it slide on in there. I'm sure they make tiny little funnels that would be ideal for this, but to me, that's just one more thing that's probably a pain in the butt to clean up and prep for the other. Otherwise, you'll have a lot of cross contamination on your colors there. All right, just a teeny bit more. She's gonna be so surprised. I think she forgot about these. She's not the kind of person that's going to say, hey, remember that thing I told you I wanted? <laughs> a couple of my coworkers are, but not this one. All right, so I'm going to let that kind of sit for a second and get that air bubble out to get that glob kind of unstuck right there. Shake it up. Okay. Voila. Yep, it's got a big old air bubble that that stuff's going to stick to again. All right, so I'm going to let that sit and hopefully get that air bubble out of there a little bit better. Um, as you're working with your glitter, if you come up with some fall off that's too much to throw away but not enough to really put back in the bottle, you should start you a, a dump bottle. This is so pretty. At the end, you wouldn't think that all the random colors would be pretty, but it really is. I made a coaster and gave it to my niece with my dump glitter. It's great. So pretty. All right, so let's do Oktoberfest. All four of these colors that I'm using today are all from Franz. 
Uh, it's FransGlitterAndMore.com. She has amazing customer service and she's always adding new stuff. She even has a Facebook group if you're interested, if you need a group to plug into. Of course, everything on there is related to the glitters coming from her shop, but you can get some great ideas there. Good support to you. All right, so we've got about that much glitter in there. Shake it up. All right, so I got all that big old clump off of there. Pretty sure there's an air bubble right at the end, just like the other one. Last one, Autumn Harvest, and then that is going to be it for this video. Alright, so I've got that one, about a third full. It doesn't really matter how full you do it to begin with. Um, I've seen some people say that they just put their glitter in first and then fill it. Some people say they fill it and then add their glitter. It's whatever works for you. Whatever you find. Hi, Jessica. Welcome back. So we are just um, tapping a little bit more in there. I really, I missed. That's okay. All right, so top that off again. <laughs> Make sure I don't spray this in my glitter because the last thing I need is a big old clump of solution in my glitter. Oh, I missed whoever just commented. I'm so sorry. It faded away right as I looked. So I'm going to shake it back up. That's that. Okay, so hi Marisa. I'm from North Texas, or I'm in North Texas, from West Texas, living in North Central Texas, just south of UNT and just north of Fort Worth. All right, I'm just popping that air bubble. That's all I'm doing on this one because it's driving me bonkers a little bit that it's not going away. Okay, good enough. I think with use it should probably eventually go away. So it needs maybe another drop or two. Piece of string. So we're just going to stick that in there again. you so much Marissa that or I know I'm saying that wrong I'm so sorry I appreciate hearing that sometimes I think nobody's gonna listen to me babble but I feel like I have enough to say and I feel like I screw up enough that it kind of makes it more <laughs> relatable I swear sometimes my stuff feels like a blooper reel all right so that is this one that will go in this gray Voila. And that will actually come apart. Yeah, Marissa, I, I said at the beginning, I've got some of these from Fran's Glitter and More, and some of these came from LegendaryGlitter.com. Fran has a, a little bit of colors. Legendary has a lot of bit of colors. When I ordered that last batch, I kid you not, I had like 200 or 100 pins in my order. Because when I say my coworkers wanted more, I didn't mean they want, like, one... Ah! <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. It totally just launched right out, that air bubble. The force was strong with that one. So, again, I'm going to stick this in here and get that air bubble out of there. Otherwise, it's not going to seal. You can kind of see it popping right back out. <laughs> Speaking of blooper reel... All right. Note to self, make sure that thing never disappears. All right, try this again. I pushed it such a weird angle on that last little go at it. Okay, 
There we go. Okay. Made it burp. That one I think I just had a little too full. And so it wasn't wanting to cooperate. But because the ring... So here's the lip here. The ring will hide that just perfectly. So by the time I put everything together, even though that stopper is in there just a little further than it needs to be, it will not be visible just from this angle, which it would be anyways. So that's Oktoberfest done. My hands are cold now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and break up that weird blob of glitter here again. It's weird, it's almost like string. Alright, that ought to do it. I don't know if you noticed on that last one, it was a flat barrel. All the other ones have had this kind of rounded or tapered end. Doesn't really matter. And that really had no effect on my um, lack of ability to do any what I was needing to do. So I'm just going to kind of push that in there. Let that air out. That's it. So contact lens solution on that one. Uh, and on this one, here's the ones I did earlier. So you can see how fast the flow is. Contact lens solution. Good grief, it keeps going to focus in the back. I'm sorry about that. And then this is the flow when you use baby oil. I said mineral oil. Some, there's some other kind of oil you can use. Uh, you do not have to make a hole in these. In fact, since you tuned in kind of later on in the game, let me show you what I did here. So these come together, just kind of sticking together. They're not like glued or anything, but they have this little stopper in here. So you put your contact solution, your oil, your whatever uh, into here. You can either do glitter and then do that and then work out the bubbles, or you can do, um, I like to do part solution or oil, then add my glitter, then top it off and get the bubbles out. So then when you're done with that, you get that in there. And a lot of times because the solution's in there, you need something to kind of pop that air bubble and kind of push it through, kind of like burping it. And then you put the ring back on. And then put a little dab of glue right there. I like to twist it so the glue gets all the way around. And that's how you put those together. So you're not having to do anything except for add whatever you want it. Good gravy. Whatever you want it to flow in. And whatever you want your glitter to be in there. Um, there was one... This one actually has, you can't really see it because this has been sitting for several weeks. There's actually unicorn head shaped glitter in there. Let's see if I can break it up. I actually made this for my niece and forgot to give it to her at Christmas. Some shapes you could fit in there pretty easily. Like the puzzle piece glitter or um, I made my daughter one that had the dino cutouts. Yeah, this isn't one to break up, but that's okay. I think I put too many in there. Um, oh, you're welcome. Hi, Amanda. Well, hello, Amanda. I know that name. Uh, so that is actually it. That's it for the... Sorry, I got a low battery notification. That's it for this tutorial. So that is how you can do that. Even if you don't do epoxy cups or anything else... This is a craft that you could easily do just to have like teacher gifts or if you're a teacher, a little something for a student gift if you're like that's what your thing is or um, like I said, I gave them to all my coworkers. They were over the top excited about them. Okay, so this spoon came in a, a, a um, silicone mold set. It is the cutest thing. I was actually at some kind of 
some kind of buffet or ice cream place or something. They had spoons almost identical. And I said, I'm going to be that weird person. Can I please have one of these spoons? And he was like, yeah, you can have more than one. So I took three. I didn't want to be extra. Uh, but that little spoon has been so easy. Another thing you could use. This is what I use to stir my epoxy. Hi, Linda. Um, I use this to stir my epoxy. And it's so easy to just wipe it off. And then whenever it gets built up. Uh, Linda, I got these. Most of these came from legendaryglitter.com. A couple of them, like this one, and maybe one or two others, came from franzglitterandmore.com. Uh, Fran doesn't carry as many as Legendary does uh, so far. If you have something like this, you could do that as well, and that kind of gives you a little easy control. It might even fit in that hole pretty decently. Not too bad. So... Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment after this post live, after the live stream posts, uh, you can post a comment. I think I've done pretty good at keeping up with the responses, but sometimes I don't get the notifications when people respond in that thread afterwards. Um, so if I don't respond to a second question in a same thing that you've already done, please don't hesitate to post again on the same video and I will be glad to answer it. Real quick for the people that just tuned in, these pins, do the one that's already together so I can do this easier. You glue this part together. I haven't done that yet on this one. But this one comes apart. Had a panic moment for a minute. I thought it wasn't going to be there. This unscrews. You can get replacement pen refills. I think if you search two and a half inch pen refill or ballpoint refill or something, that should pop up. But when I get inside uh, back in the house, I'll pull up the link to where I saw them. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what kind of glue you use to put these together, just something strong. Because, I mean, they get dropped, they get handled. Sometimes people will twist like that and like that. And so it'll kind of put some stress right there instead of only right here. Um, I use E6000 typically, just because I know that's pretty strong. I know Gorilla makes a good one. Um, any kind of super glue would work too. But like I mentioned earlier, I like to put a little dot. I actually don't put it here. I actually put it right in here. I just kind of wipe. I get a little glob on the tip of my, um, the tip of my E6000, I wipe it right there. And then I just do that and wipe it around twist it around like that just so I get glue all the way around so yeah if you have any questions that's all I'm gonna stop rambling now uh, if you have any questions don't hesitate to comment I'll be happy to answer them I am not an expert I don't claim to be I don't play one on TV nothing like that I'm just kind of a Jill of all trades and master of none and I wanted to show you all this because um, something came up yesterday I think that I was like ooh, ooh, I could do that Quick recap, you can use contact lens solution, you can use baby oil for a slower flow, you can use mineral oil, clear dish soap, and water. It really depends on what you have access to, what your preference on working is, and what kind of flow you want. And I highly recommend getting your child to make you something like this in craft class. I said third grader earlier, I'm pretty sure my son made this in sixth grade ceramics class but I really don't know anymore because he didn't mark it on the bottom but it is quite handy in this capacity here and it kind of makes him uh, feel a little important that I use that so yeah that's it I'm gonna sign off now so you ladies and gentlemen have a great evening and stay tuned I've got a tutorial coming I'm working on this type of cup right now you're welcome Amanda I'm working on this type of uh, cup next. I want to do this, and I got a new airbrush kit, but the beginning of that tutorial was a complete fail. If anyone wants to see how fail I'm talking about, I'll grab the cup real quick. It's bad. But, uh, yeah, that's it. You guys have a great night, and we'll see you soon.